welcome to another episode of I Wonder. In this episode, I am going to talk about Hypertext Transfer Protocol or HTTP as you all know. So, without wasting any more time, let's start. HTTP is the foundation of World Wide Web. Now what is Hypertext? Hypertext is a well-organized documentation system that uses hyperlinks to link the pages in a text document. So how does the HTTP works? The HTTP works on the client server model. Whenever a client requests for any web page, the client machine at the user end initiates a TCP connection on server on port number 80. Now if the server accepts or uh, decides to accept the request then the user or the client can access the web pages and if it does not uh, accept the request then it, the request is rejected and the client or the user can't access the web pages. Now to use HTTP a user must use the web browsers now these web browsers are responsible for initiating and terminating the TCP connections. Okay, now HTTP is a stateless protocol. What that means? That means HTTP does not maintain any record of the client's previous requests. Okay, for example, uh, right now I am a client and I am using a web browser and I am requesting for a particular website say google.co.in now if the server accepts the request then I can use the Google website okay now I have used uh, the Google website now next I want to access youtube.com now the uh, HTTP HTTP does not keep the record that previously I requested for google.com so that request is not present with HTTP so that is why HTTP is called a stateless protocol. Now there are two versions of HTTP. The first one is HTTP 1.0. HTTP 1.0 uses non-persistent HTTP. What that means? HTTP 1.0 uh, through HTTP 1.0 only one object can be sent over a single TCP connection. Okay. And the second version is HTTP 1.1 which uses persistent HTTP. What that means? That means uh, multiple objects can be sent over a single TCP connection. Okay? So that was all for this video. Uh, like it if you like this video and share it among your friends. If you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel then please subscribe to it and press the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload any new video. Thank you.